Hey, what is good, everyone? Fury here, and we are back with more community replays. About to say a sentence I never thought I'd say before, but uh, we're looking at Ariana Grande's La Diva versus Soros. So let's get right into this match, eh? And this is a match that's all about turn taking and pretty much La Diva abusing the fact that she has the advantage and risk reward in basically every situation. Uh, it's it's uphill for Soros. But it does depend on you being very aware of like his weaknesses in terms of frame data. And this is like one of the, the big ones, right? I did a video on this. You take your turn back with Far M. Ariana Grande does just that. Now you can see that Soros is moving back now to get into the optimal impact knuckle range. And you can't really allow him to do that. When he's in that optimal range, it means that you can't take your turn back with Far M and it kind of gets a bit hazy in terms of like the moves utility. So yeah, moving forward here, smart. The jump works fine because it also catches the uh, impact knuckle. Goes for the free headbutts, cool. Okay, so let's talk about the risk reward a little bit more here. So it goes for the two hits of the target combo after the knockdown, which is absolutely fine. Resetting the pressure early for Lediva is a very normal thing to do keeps people guessing on the strings you're going to use. Very important to her gameplay and making SPDs scary. Um, what I will say is because Soros just doesn't do damage mid-screen, it's worth making a read hit. Now, that read could be going for another target combo and just kind of resetting again and making them get impatient. It can be going for the SPD, you know, punish them for blocking. Or it can be Lariat because you're anticipating them pressing a button and catching them out for it. I don't think it's worth like waiting and trying to bait something out because he's not got a reversal. He's not really got these unsafe specials apart from upkick, which he's probably not going to do. Um, you might have been looking for a jump here, but honestly, if you're going to look for the jump versus a character with this little damage, I think you may as well just go with the Lariat because the Lariat is basically going to give you more reward and the risk, sure, there's more than just blocking, but it's not that much more. Um, like it's just such a low amount of damage and his pressure strings end really early anyway let's keep going so he jumps forward manages to catch a jump there okay so we got that in our head holding up after the string you didn't have um, headbutt here so that's obviously going to make the opponent a bit more confident to hold up uh, just straight up guess but that's we can put that in the bank of information and after the free hits of the target combo, obviously it becomes more, kind of more reactable because it's just a, a more solid, um, it's a more commonplace mind game at the third hit. So what happens here? Right, so this is where the counter can be useful, right? Press a button and you get hit by it. Now what you can do here is you can throw him as a guess. You can dodge the actual counter itself, but obviously that's still a guess. Either way, he's not really getting anything from it. So... I always, if I see it get blocked, I'm always going to try and dodge. I'm going to try and cancel into something. I'm going to do basically, I'm going to make sure that the read is a bit deeper than just, oh, it got countered. Um, but the, it's a normal thing to happen. So, like, if we look at the sequence in which this went on, that close counter, okay, let's go back again. So, it does impact knuckle, knows you want to take your turn back and boom there's the counter now this is throw range where he where the impact knuckle landed and you do need to mix into your game plan after an impact knuckle as Lediva the spd uh, you can't just do the far m or the closer m in this case uh, you need to mix it up to make sure that he's guessing after Im impact knuckle you don't want the mind game to be too straightforward okay just kind of catching swings here we look at this whole sequence so kind of tapping away catches low which is not not too deep goes for the sweep into the cancel and just has a very good grasp of the timing of this matchup right now with into throw my favorite okay that's fine well one thing we have to keep in mind as Lediva in this matchup is he's going to find uh there's going to be a moment where you block out something and it's your turn. And now that's kind of become a bit more scary because you've been hit by the counter a couple of times, but you can't really stray too far away from that game plan. If you start getting a bit impatient and pressing buttons when it's like 
technically his turn or is in a range where he thrives you can get mashed out quite easily by Soros. He he definitely feeds on like delay button presses. Ooh, big counter hit. Okay, goes low, overhead, overhead. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, like, there's not much advice other than like, you obviously need to block the overhead, but I would say, also looking at this what's happening a lot is it's like these weird timings and that's what Soros needs to do to open people up is to create situations where the timings are a bit off so you do like weird setups like empty jump low run up overhead he thrives on stuff like this this is his bread and butter he can't open people up without being a bit sort of weird and confident with his approach and that makes him very vulnerable to just stand l like 5l is very good versus him because he has to leave gaps to make his aggression diverse enough to open an opponent up so i will say obviously block the overhead that's gives you your turn that's great but even then sometimes after like a, a 2l you do need to just match, show that you're willing to mash out to kind of get rid of some of soros's confidence all right and just running mix here safe on block and there's once again the counter. And you see how long he's cut charging it? Like that is opportunity to do things like throw. Like, he's taking full advantage of like the you know that I know mind game. So he knows it's not his turn anymore. So he's going for counter. That's exactly where you need to do things like, you know, just throw him or wait it out and punish a whiff. Now you can backdash. That's like sometimes quite a good option is to like just backdash away from the counter. And once again, that I do like. There's not really anything you're baiting here. You're, I, I just hard commit personally to the read of like third headbutt or SBD because versus another character, I might not do this because I'm a bit more worried about risk reward. But versus Soros, just don't be. He's such a like death by a million cuts character. Yeah, unfortunately, this only works from an EX, but that's okay. He's going, like, gone to the air quite a few times. So you can see Sora is now trying to prepare for that with jumps of his own. Because his anti are a bit weak. Nice. I love the heavy. I also love that that mind game there. That mix-up. Because, like, look at the... You went for that, right? And look at the damage he got. There's nothing. Saving super, obviously, to go into, like, the, the form. But, yes, perfect. That's a brilliant bait. Great stuff there. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is good adapt uh, adaptation you know that he's going to go for the counter and he's immediately cancelling it into the actual like follow-up to that counter it's like that's really good stuff just jumping in there i will say however just as like a a bit of like advice when you get like you were doing this as a punish right this was a really hard read if you're doing this as a punish like go the whole way just cancel straight into heavy don't do the target combo because target combo scales everything horribly uh and just go straight into 720. Because this is like this combo would have killed if you had just done heavy, heavy 720. And you can react to it, especially when you are at, you're looking for a punish and it's not in neutral. You will get a bit of Oki off this. It's not great, Oki. I tend to just run up far M here, uh, just make him respect that. Obviously, because you spent their headbutt on the combo, that makes far M like a little less scary, but still, it's just nice to take your turn. I see you're waiting out. Okay, he's going to activate form. This is where Soros likes to mash. You're playing it patient, which is cool. It's not never really a bad idea. Ah, that was your that was your moment. That was the thing. So if when you're when you're as a player when you're waiting for someone to hang themselves, you need to be ready for like one or two options. I normally look for one thing. So if I'm sat there blocking and I'm going, all right, you're going to overextend and I'm going to get something here look for a specific option so you might want to look for the unblockable or you might want to look for the jump but just be ready for one of those options keep in your head what that option is that you're going to punish them for if they hang themselves because they're getting overconfident nice brilliant that that's your turn as well that's minus two i believe so you can fire m again in that situation or get the run up throw 
Oh, unfortunately, no punish there. But that's okay. Let's see, there's a couple of dropped combos here. Like, you know, that, that is what it is. Like, we all drop combos. It's just something you need to practice. Um, when you get these sorts of hits in the air, though, these counter hit air to airs, just go far M and buffer into a Lariat. If it hits, you'll get a combo. If it doesn't hit, you're fine. Uh, you can also just do like a close M and go into the anti air grab, but you know, I, I personally like to just buffer straight into Lariat. The corner carry is too useful. Now, I think here there's been the strings are getting a little predictable. But I like now that you're throwing a normal headbutt in there too. Like that, that you got away with that sequence because the head ex headbutt being used so much that a normal headbutt started paying off. Uh, you cashed in that sort of mind game. I will say I think throwing a bit of early SPDs in there is helpful as well. But where Soros is clearly already trying to press buttons to get out of that pressure, you've established something really nice here. Uh, he then ended up waiting for his turn. Now. So hitting with all of this sort of stuff is fantastic. Here in this position, it might have been too far away, but one thing I like to do, uh, if I think they're going to start being a bit more like impatient, but wait for the headbutt, I, like maybe that's when you cancel into the SPD. So you you know you do the target combo and you just go straight SPD because now Soros has been count hit a bunch of times by you doing these target combos and then him trying to mash out. That's kind of your opportunity to then go okay cool now's the spd let me throw it in there uh once again that's kind of it's a mind game it's a mind game behind it but i think the the damage you did with those headbutts is not necessarily like the life it's the mind game behind it oh big count here lovely caught him moving forward your jumps have been pretty successful so i can see why you'd still be going for it you know let make them prove that they can get out of it there you go that's that magic Suarez impact knuckle range we were talking about you can't really take your turn back. You never, I would never want to be in that range. It's going to happen sometimes, but always try and move forward to stop that range from happening. Yep, just tapping away. And once again, these these strings all kind of end. So when he goes for the, the 2M here, right? So he hits you with a throw, hits you with the start of the target combo. You rightfully don't press anything. It is still kind of his turn and the 2M clips you. That's why you're looking for all these pressure reset points with impact knuckle and stuff like that. It simplifies the aggression so much. This is godlike, by the way. This is super sick. Empty jump throw there defensively is like so cool. I can see that was meant to be another SPD, which is unfortunate. Uh, also, when you land these SPDs, run forward. Uh, because when you do the run forward, it will... One, help with your timing on a safe jump, even though, you know, you're not really worrying too much about that versus Soros. But also, the SPD becomes more of a threat. I actually don't know if the SPD, the light one anyway, would have hit after this. Maybe M would have, but it was pretty far. Um, so, if you just run, that will help that situation. Then you can use things like Jump L, which have less blocks done, and can really benefit, like, you know, your SPD game. Unfortunate drop there, but let's not worry too much about that. So yeah, let's, I mean, yeah, they, those are anti, anti as you definitely need to hit. Because if we look at how he's been approaching you, it's been through impact knuckle and jumps. Good jump back there, catching him. Wow, that anti was mad. Awesome, awesome. Right, it's your turn. <sighs> bet, bet the farm. That's okay. That's gonna, you know, you're really deep player, that's gonna happen. I will say it's like one of those things of like, this Suarez is definitely playing the like he knows I know stuff so it's definitely worth uh it's definitely worth just like taking that into consideration there was actually games before this one so I will say that there may be like more mind games we haven't seen where like the empty jump SPD uh 720 worked but empty jump into button is super good like it's so good there's so many creative ways to set up the 720 so but at the end of the day it's a guess Okay, so this, uh, at the start of the round, right, you're baiting a button. You're baiting a button or you're baiting impact knuckle. I will say, realistically, buffer this into a lariat. Because the headbutt's going to whiff, which it did. And also, this is a range where he's probably not going to be able to walk up and block to bait the lariat. So, throwing the lariat out there is not a bad shout. 
I mean, obviously you can do crouching normals and that might create a weird whiff situation, but he hasn't done that yet. So if you're going to try and buffer against the, the impact knuckle, buffer straight into Lariat, man. Ah, it's another execution error. So this is a thing, you'll see this happen sometimes when people are holding down back and then they go to do a quarter circle forward and it kind of hits too many planes. Just, you've got to clean up those inputs. It can be really annoying, but it's worth doing because I, I did this for a while when I started playing with D.Va. Like, you have to clean things up. Yeah, I, th I do think that a, a, some more SPDs in aggression would be very useful here. Okay, so you're going to get a knockdown. Chooses to keep it standing. Interesting. We've got to remember that the safe jump is more... The standing resets as the diva are obviously very good and very useful. Um, but when a character doesn't have a reversal, sometimes just going for the sweep knockdown, you get a safe jump, you just jump at them, and then you can empty jump, you can do jump light, you can do jump heavy, and there's a it's a bit more of a diverse mix-up. Whereas if you've already spent headbutt, and then you go for a standing reset, the lack of a threat from the headbutt makes that reset a little less safe, which we kind of spoke about earlier, and I was like, oh, just do it anyway. But if we look here, Soros now has the life lead like to quite a big extent. So actually, the, the jump mix-up may have been a little bit stronger in that situation. Okay, yeah, you, you have to firm this. Uh, this is safe. I will say, I sometimes 720 it. It's one of those things where it's like, all right, cool, I know it's safe. Hold this 720 real quick. But that's just uh, it's another one where it's just a mind game. Oh, that was really unfortunate. Like, Soros' bad run speed actually paying off for him there. Uh, in most worlds, he should have got hit by that. And I do like the idea of catching him moving forward because he needed to in that situation. Uh, yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, everyone needs to just like load up training mode sometimes, put a bunch of recordings of like characters doing weird sequences into overheads, into throws, and just get those reactions down. I tend to do it when I like start playing sets. Cool. Blocked it out, but it is your turn. When you block this out, like take your turn right back. SBD them, far L, uh, far M them. Okay, spending the EX. Yeah, and that's why I say go for the SPD sometimes, because we do need to remember like the counter is at its most effective when you're going into a special because you can't then dodge. Awesome. There we go. Resetting strings early. Getting mix up. Goes for a safe jump, but empty jumps into the throw. Brilliant. This is great stuff. Yep, spending the meter, and that's dead. Counting super. Awesome, awesome stuff. Yeah, the, the way you were using strings there, like all of those SPDs made total sense because you were mixing up your strings so much the, the opponent wasn't ready to deal with all the options. Okay, once again, the impact knuckle neutral. And like, I can't emphasize this enough. Like, Soros is trying to play neutral in two ways. Impact knuckle and jump. Like, he definitely has other options, but the opponent's not done them to you. Uh, he can use things like far, uh, far H and uh, far L is really good as well. Two M's good. But until they do that to you, just approach, just walk forward walk forward block walk forward block and just sit there and react to the jump in because the impact knuckle is going to get blocked and then it's your turn the jump in just to h it and you're going to blow him up because his jump ins are really bad um but you need to be close you can't let soros do like a grappler jump versus you where he makes your button whiff you need to be close for all of his like all of those neutral tools that we just discussed to be a bit weaker Yeah, it's it's hard to anti over Diva. Like she, her anti air is slow, but let's look at these. All these jumps are connecting from Sora's, like all of them. So you know that there's something you need to go for. I will say as well, this isn't like this right here. Whiffed like that's one of those little things that can be handy to catch because it is a laggy move. But you obviously being ready for it is hard. Yeah, you, you feel very scared of the counter now. And I don't think the the way in which you should deal with it is to just block out. Um, you can just mash out for it. Oh, no. Yeah, that's another far M conversion. But that's okay. You're trying to buffer against impact knuckle. Yeah. All right. Let's just look, look at how 
how he's able to land these. So you're you're buffering the impact uh, versus impact knuckle, which makes a lot of sense and is a, a really good option here. But Soros is just trying to play outside of that range and just try and like jump at you and then impact knuckle when you've got a weird timing. You need to mix up like all of your openings felt like they came from his mistakes rather than your uh, like you earning it. And the fear of the blocked impact knuckle mix up seemed to get to you a little bit because of the counters and all that. Just SPD him, SPD the shit out of him, or make those really hard reads with the jumps like you did once. Like that's such a good read that you need to terrify him with it. You hit someone with that like two times in a in a round, like they're never doing the <laughs> counter ever again. Because if you're playing a Soros, when you do the count, when you do impact knuckle. And then you hold U, 5U, and you go into the actual animation of the counter. You need to do that super quick to punish a button from a blocked impact knuckle. You need to do it immediately. And that's what leads to the vulnerability of the jump in. Now, like I said, you can just throw him, but the jump in will put the fear of God in him. <laughs> like, that will blow him up. You get one jump, heavy, heavy, EX Lariat sweep. That's a blow up, man. That's so good. Um... But yeah, I think if you just get a bit more comfortable with those sorts of situations and how to, even though it's like your turn, it's very easy to say, oh, it's your turn when this happens, your turn when this happens. But remember, there's always a little mind game there that you need to play. And you can't, like, the reward for Soros hitting you with that counter is being plus two, which is nothing. The reward for you guessing right on a counter could be half health from a jump in, or it can be an SBD. So just make sure you're playing those mind games and you're actively thinking about how you take your turn back and how you benefit off it. Because if you hit him with one SPD or you hit him with a, a jump in, you better know he's going to mash next time and that's where your fire M is going to come in and blow him up for it. So there was some little things there. I think the, the anti-airs and the blocking for overheads, that's just something that comes with time. I will say... if you need to like kind of latch on to the sequences he's doing to you so you can like see when the jumps are coming and your reactions will be a bit better but that's yeah that will just come with time also when they start doing those little weird stagger pressures just mashing a close l will help a little bit versus it obviously can't do it all the time but i mean if you're going to mash anything a close l is probably the best thing because he's looking to counter poke you with you know his far m his far l uh your close L or your far L will often leave those buttons to whiff, which is quite cool. Unlike the far M, unlike the 2M. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Shout out to Ariana Grande, I guess. Um, if you want to send in your own replay for me to go through and break down, just comment below with your name, what console you play on, if there's a matchup you're interested in looking at, and uh, I'll give it a look in. So anyway, hope everyone's doing well and take care.